Perhaps you've seen the bee movie in which bees were trained for specific jobs. Well, it's happening in real life. This is the Honeybee College for Explosives Detection. In this school, bees are being transformed from simple pollen collectors to expert explosives detection specialists. Yes, honeybees are capable of detecting explosives. While we're accustomed to recognizing canine dogs as being capable of detecting explosives, it may surprise you to learn that bees possess this ability as well. The process begins by carefully selecting honeybees from their hives. To ensure their safety during collection, a specially designed handheld device is used to transfer the bees into a secure chamber. Once collected, the bees are transported to the lab for the next stage of their journey. Before the bees can begin their rigorous training, they need to undergo a unique pre-training process. This involves cooling the bees to reduce their movements and facilitate handling. Once chilled, they are harnessed and left to acclimate to their new environment for 30 minutes. Although it is a tedious task to manually load each bee into a harness, some labs have come up with innovative solutions. The Visual Communications Unit at Rothamsted Research, for instance, has developed an automated bee loading machine. The machine confines the bees and forces them to walk into a cylinder one by one. The cylinder is then dropped into the loading tube, where each bee is carefully pushed into its harness before being placed into position. Once the bees are comfortably harnessed, they undergo an extensive training process. Honeybees can detect chemicals in the air, which they use to locate their favorite flowers. By following a similar conditioning process to that used for dogs, bees can be trained to detect explosives. In training dogs, for instance, a neutral stimulus such as the ringing of a bell is presented to them. This is followed by delivering a biologically significant outcome such as food. Over time, the dogs learn to associate the bell with food and start to respond accordingly. While honeybees may not salivate like dogs, they do have a tongue, or proboscis, which they use exclusively for eating. Their antennae also function as vapor sensors, with a sensitivity threshold of parts per trillion, similar to dogs' sense of smell. Before being endorsed to the next round of training, the bees must pass a test, the proboscis extension reflex, PEER. This test requires the bees to stick out their tongue when presented with sugar water on the tip of a swab. The bees that purr move on to the training phase, where they are exposed to a six-second exposure of an explosive vapor with a sugar water reward given during the last three seconds. The training phase can also be automated using a vapor release followed by a feeding mechanism, so the bees can associate the two together. After four rounds of training, the bees that voluntarily peer after receiving the explosive scent are ready for field work. But how do you monitor the bee's response during field work? There are two ways to do this. One method involves using a camera to record the bees up close. The bees are placed onto a platform and loaded into a monitoring device, and the camera inside the device records the bee's behavior. With the help of computer vision algorithms, the camera output can be interpreted to know when the bees purr. A unanimous peer signal from all the bees indicates a high likelihood that they have detected the specific type of explosive they were trained on. The second monitoring method involves using a cartridge of bees loaded into a machine with an infrared LED in front of each bee. The infrared light hits the bee and bounces onto a light sensor, which can tell if the bee has its tongue out or not based on the amount of light picked up by the sensor. To test an air sample, six cartridges loaded with six honeybees each are loaded into a handheld detection device. The monitoring screen shows 36 green squares, each representing a bee that has not yet responded. The handheld detector is held in proximity to the target, and with the push of a button, all 36 bees are exposed to air in the bag for six seconds. If a bee extends its tongue, the corresponding square turns from green to red. What's more impressive with this method is that the bees in each cartridge could be trained on a different substance, enabling the device to detect not only the presence, but also the type of substance. After a few days, the bees would be released back to the hives. Unlike sniffer dogs that require months of training, honeybees can be trained in just a few hours. Moreover, the maintenance cost of bees is significantly less than dogs, requiring only sugar water. For certain applications such as detecting landmines, bees may be a better fit than dogs since the weight of a dog could trigger a landmine. 
African giant pouched rats are typically used for sniffing landmines due to their effectiveness and low weight. But honeybees offer a potential alternative for explosive detection. In many parts of the world, landmines buried during wars that took place decades ago still pose a deadly threat. Despite efforts to clear these dangerous explosives, thousands of them remain hidden, waiting to claim unsuspecting victims. In countries like Croatia, researchers have been working tirelessly to perfect the art of using bees as landmine locators. The bees are taught to associate the smell of TNT with food. Once that association is firm, the bees can be turned loose in search of mines. While the tiny insects are highly effective at sniffing out landmines, keeping track of their movements in a mine-contaminated area is no easy feat. After all, chasing bees across a minefield is not exactly a safe or practical option. Thankfully, a team of innovative thinkers have come up with a clever solution. Drones. By using unmanned aerial vehicles to monitor the bees as they work, researchers can capture valuable footage of the insects in action. Later, this footage is analyzed by computers to determine the precise location of landmines hidden beneath the Earth's surface. As impressive as these capabilities of bees are, there are discussions on whether using them as explosives detectors is ethical. One of the primary ethical concerns is the potential harm to the bees themselves. Training bees to detect explosives involves conditioning them to associate the scent of explosives with a food reward. This conditioning process can be stressful for the bees, and there is a risk that they may become sick or even die as a result of exposure to explosives. Additionally, the process of transporting the bees to different locations for deployment as detectors may also cause stress or harm to the bees. Another ethical concern is the potential impact on the environment. Bees play a crucial role in pollination, and their populations are already under threat from factors such as climate change, pesticide use, and habitat loss. Using bees as explosives detectors could further disrupt their natural behavior, potentially affecting their ability to pollinate crops and maintain ecosystems. There is also a question of whether the use of bees for security purposes is an appropriate use of the animals. Bees are living creatures with their own interests and needs, and it may be argued that using them in this way exploits their abilities for human gain. We must be careful because Barry might sue us if he'll know that we're sending his brothers to dangerous missions. What are your thoughts about this? If you like our story, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. Until the next one.